What's up, everybody? It's your boy Bo out there for some more truth and facts. All right, shout out to the LDBC, the YDBC. Shout out to my boys at Garza Grill. Uh, the Movement, Twana Divine Levity, Big Cool from Colossal Boxing. 2K from Prodigy of Boxing, my partner in crime, Bernard, a.k.a. Detective B. Go over to the Movement Instagram page, man. Check that out. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel. It's free, y'all. Damn, I keep telling y'all that, all right? All right, so, uh, Bondu Jack. In a Ring TV article, and I'll post the link, Bondu Jack claims the original plan was for him to fight Adonis Stevens, right? Now, uh, first off, let me say this. I'm going to wait to see if Stevens says something in the next couple of days, right? Because there's two, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's two sides to every story. And so, this just came out today. So, you know, Stevens might see it. Maybe he'll tweet something about it. Don't know, right? But Bondu Jack is claiming that the original plan was for him to fight Adonis Stevens, and for some odd reason, Stevens didn't want to fight, right? Now, the only reason why I'm, I'm like, I'm away for Adonis Stevens, because in there, he does say things like, you know, he don't know why he don't want to fight me, and that they haven't negotiated, but it seems like he doesn't want to fight the top guys. Now, uh, he's claiming that even before the James DeGale fight, the target at 175 was to go to 175 and look to fight Adonis Stevens. That's what he says. So, if that's true, Okay, and the target was Adonis Stevens, and for whatever reason, Adonis Stevens didn't fight him. Then you know Stevens got a lot to ask for. But like I said again, I'm awake. I'm awake. Okay, I'm awake, and we're gonna see what Stevens has to say because, you know, like I said, there's two sides to every story. Now Stevens don't say nothing. Like three, four days go by, Stevens don't say nothing. Hey, you know what, dog? It is what it is. But I'm, I'm just noticing, saying here, you know, there's a pattern with, for some reason, fights when it comes to Adonis Stevens is not happening, and we can't sit here. And I know my man Scorsese. He likes to, you know, pretend like Stevens is not at fault for anything, right? But at some point in time, like I said, I'll say this again. The common denominator, when everyone has an issue with you, and everyone has the exact same issue, then the common denominator of everybody's issue is who? It's you. That's the common denominator, right? Okay? Because this is the same, you know, I mean, supposedly, Yvonne Michelle said that uh, Bondu Jack was going to fight a later Alvarez. And I said, damn, I, I don't believe that. I got to hear that from some, you know, I got to hear that from someplace else. And here it is again. This is Bondu Jack talking to another news outlet. I know he talked once to boxing scene. Now he's talking to Ring TV. And he does not even mention the later Alvarez. So I'm like, okay, well, either that fight was never going to happen, you know what I'm saying, or Bondu Jack didn't know nothing about it. Okay, which could possibly well be the case. But bottom line was, as far as I'm concerned, man, Bondu Jack didn't know nothing about fighting no damn later Alvarez. Why? when he knows he can get a title shot when he go to 175 because he has that kind of backing. He has that kind of push behind him. So why would like why would he fight a later Alvarez? He can just jump past a later Alvarez and just go straight for a title shot, which is what he's doing with Nathan Cleverly, which is what he wanted to do with the Donna Stevens, right? So we, I'm going to wait to see what happened with that, but I'm just finding it uh, you know, interesting. And, you know, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, listen, if you like a Donna Stevens, right, you're going to see this. You're going to say bullshit, 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 which is fine. You have every right to do that. All I'm going to point out is here's another story of a fight where someone is saying, man, I wanted Adonis, but for some odd reason, this dude didn't take this fight, okay? And I'm going to say this again. Adonis has been quiet since Andre Ward beat Kovalev. I have not heard nothing from Adonis about who he wants to fight or what's the next move or what's the next play going to be for him, okay? So I'm just going to, like I said, uh, Bondu Jack is going to be fighting Nathan Cleverly, so he's still fighting for uh, the WBA regular title. It's just a second. It's, it's more like it's more or less a second tier title. You know, the WBA they got them second tier titles out there, which is kind of crazy to me, man. But all right, everybody, leave a comment at the bottom. Peace.